Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at the tropical development in the Atlantic, which side of a famous volcano is likely to blow next time, and a big story on the sun, which has implications for years into the future. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where we saw several small pops and minor CME production around the limbs, still nothing in the Earth-facing position. We do have a growing sunspot situation, however, and the next coronal hole is coming in on the north. What we're digging into a bit deeper right now and watching closely today is that sunspot development. Southernmost group is not doing much. Northern spots visible here, growing, morphing, and between them and trailing a bit of new group growing and birthing new umbral cores. So far they're quiet, but if growth and morphing continues, that can change very quickly. Folks have run every single model through to its end, and 99% of them have this system that is now almost certain to form into a tropical storm, bending northward up into the ocean and away from the Americas by a few days from now. Definitely some good news there. Up next, the White Island Volcano. Everyone knows it's going to pop again at some point. And over the last 10 years, there has been subsidence of the south and western sides and uplift on the eastern side very noteworthy for anyone in that area. In case you can't get the translation, do not be living on the eastern side. Top story today is the reversal of nearly every key solar energy parameter decline in 2008. For decades, the sun had been going down, 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 apparently heading for grand solar minimum. What I didn't know in 2015 when I saw something else in the polar field data and I started saying, hey, grand solar minimum is not on deck, was that all the other factors and data points had already flipped around and were rising again. This means that the next sunspot cycle in the 2030s poses very little risk for a grand solar minimum and instead poses a dramatic risk to our weakening magnetic field. Folks, we are two months from the premiere of the documentary film on Earth's disaster cycle on the magnetic pole shift, sponsored by goldobservers.com. It will be free to watch because of goldobservers.com, who is also doing up to a 10% match on precious metal buys. I'm going to be honest, I don't get that math. They're basically letting us steal from them and get free silver and gold. To be honest, I haven't run into a company like this in a while, and it is important that this documentary is seen far and wide. What's about to happen to this planet is no joke. And so let's return that support at goldobservers.com. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.